Are you our new air conditioner, buddy? Tried and true. Look at that. Yeah. You gonna do a little camping too, bud? Hi. Hi. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Out of office camping. Woo! You've arrived at your destination. You like that? You're not going to put that on there, I hope. No, of course not. Because the only people think you're funny is you. Oh. Maybe your parents. I'm not funny. Alright, are you funny? No, I don't think I'm funny at all. Made it. Was it a long walk, Teresa? It was kind of a long walk, but totally worth it because this is like not quite private beach. This is like beach that if you're staying, I think, at the campground, and then down there, if you're dating. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. That's a lot of humans. Too many humans. Just a few people. Down here, it's like private, private beach. Private beach, let's, let's zoom out of that. It smells so good. Sound. Oh, I love it. Camping, and we're here in beautiful Cape Henlope. God, that sounded so cheesy. Anyway, we're gonna show you around. Let's get started.
So our slide out for the ice co cooler has been working out great. Got everything nice and packed. Did a weight check earlier, which was uh, obviously 84 pounds. And uh, time to make some breakfast. Fryer's got to be one of the best pieces of uh, cooking devices when you have power. That's magical. How many do you want? Hmm. Probably, we'll just do four. You're going to eat three? I'm only going to eat one. Yeah. Would you like to tell our viewers? Um, that, um, we reached 500 okay. subscribers. Oh yeah, we reached 500 subscribers. Actually, we have 501. Yes. Thank you to everyone for being yeah. a subscriber. That's pretty exciting. We're that people, that many people are interested in what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so where are we? like it. Um, we are used to more remote camping, so it takes a little getting used to because the campsites are kind of close, so you are 
very intimate with your neighbors. But everybody has been super nice. Everybody's very nice, very respectful. Um, you can get to the beach on foot or on, by bike. Um, we chose to drive partway in our vehicle and park it and then walk the rest of the way. So it's not that bad. Um, if we were able to, we would both be biking too. That's, they have tons of bike paths like all over the um, park, which is great. Apparently you can bicycle to Rehoboth or into town, like the town of Lewis, and all around the park. There's a really wonderful fishing pier that you can get to and you can watch the sunset, which is really nice. That was really pretty. It's awesome. All the sites have electric and water yeah. that are campsites. Uh, tent sites have water, but no electric. Yeah. Yeah, that. The bath houses, there's three bath houses. The one in the middle by the camp store has eight locking bathroom stalls with showers. So it's just like one large room that you can go in and lock. They're not bad. Yeah, I prefer that over where you go in and there's like shower stalls. Right. Because there's nowhere to put your stuff usually. You're like hang your stuff. And this way you can like put all your stuff out. And Lewis is close. There's a lot of things to do there or historical sites to see. So it's a great deal to, to, to get to. You can even bike to some of the areas up in Lewis according to our camp host. And the beach makes you very tired. It's nap time. Yeah. All right. It's actually, what time? It's like three, something like that. Time for a snack. I'm never sure if this is a good thing when you see a sign like this, military explosives, do not touch. Something to be mindful of. Here we have a Midwest automotive design Mercedes 4x4. Giving a, just a quick little walk around. Just an amazing, amazing build here. Awning all set up. Victron solar system. Take a look at the windows in the back. So we have one vent, air vent on the top, which is nice. Basically, they can just open up the back windows and have the draw through. There's screens, so you can see with the setup here, they have the back, the beds on the back. Donuts over on the right, and basically left side looks like a shower. And you swing around in the front. It's pretty uh, pretty straight setup. Oh my.
What would it say? It would just be a tulip poplar leaf with like maybe like a jagged line. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think on that one. I don't think it would say anything. Now Teresa brought snacks today. She made yeah. some really nice wraps because there is a Rita's truck at the end of the top of this little street up in the parking lot. Yeah. So with snacks, you can't be tempted. Yep. At least that's the thoughts. Yep. I brought gummy bears and I brought caramel creams and I brought the peanut butter wraps on the lavash flatbread and I brought uh, some guacamole and some blue chips. Oh, and I cut up a peach and a plum. Nice. So I figured if we eat all of that, we won't be tempted to go get a Rita's. Okay. For those who don't know, Rita's has incredible custard ice cream and Italian ice. Italian ice and some folks right down from us have already picked up their batch of Rita's for the day so chips and you eat your guac? Guacamole. Mini guac. Guac to these go. Are the, these are the best thing ever. They're like the perfect amount and then they don't turn brown. Like if you get guacamole in a big container, it's hard to kick. Like it doesn't go bad or anything, it just changes color. And Teresa's sporting her little fan, personal oh fan. God. It's like personal pizza, which is a personal fan. Yeah. That was last year's birthday for one of them, right? Yeah. It's this year's presents. One part of it. Bag of gummy, gummy bears to yep. go. I just brought some. Portion control. Now, if you're looking for some amazing ice cream, Two Dips has some incredible ice cream. So, if you're in the Lewis, Delaware area, you have to stop in and grab some. So I figured I'd take everybody around. Now I don't know what it is with our luck whenever we go camping, but it seems like we always get nailed by storms and Ida is coming up right now. So a lot of people have left. But uh, just real quick here, you can kind of see just how close these sites are. This Chinook's really cool. So a lot of people are rolling out. Camp post here, general store. So there's A loop, B loop, C loop, D loop. Uh, I think then the E camping, there's a couple camping loops. Bath showers are really cool. There's like eight stalls with uh, bathrooms, individual. But uh, really very family oriented and just really nice people. Sites are kind of small, you know, if you have a larger rig. But uh, once again, everything's kind of just packed in. And the tent spots, so all the spots actually have power and water, which is really cool. This is the uh, tent area, which aren't too bad. They all have water, but no power. So 
Same thing. This is not normally what it looks like. It's very desolate right now. Uh, cool thing is, you come all the way down here. We're on the B loop. You come all the way down and uh, go right up in the tower. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just right over here. Go check out the tower. It's one of the few towers you can go up. We use these towers in order to, uh, as a military base, to more or less uh, triangulate any kind of uh, ships or airplanes, I believe. So, might be closed. Right here at the observation tower, it's really cool. They have the uh, the battery batter, uh, barracks, which are right here, and and then the gun battery. 519 now the uh, museum's right in there so you can check that out that's closed right now but are really cool so these are the uh, observation towers and these are all throughout this area really neat these guys are checking out I got a little baby buck here pretty cool just checking out the right tower here. we have the uh, Fort Miles Museum but these are the uh, barracks that we just uh, showed you you know, a really cool thing too, there's lots of bicycle trails all throughout this uh, park, which is really amazing. You can find more on this. There's lots of YouTube videos out there. Just give you guys a quick little fast tour throughout this setup. So basically, uh, they house 2,300 soldiers and the guns could fire more than 25 miles out to sea. Basically, the uh, army continued to, you know, run this, and then they turned it over, turned over the land, last parcel in uh, 1996 to the uh, Delaware State. It's really cool. Great place to come to if uh, you are down in the Delaware area. You just have to book ahead. Basically, if you're coming from the uh, campsite, you can walk all the way here. You can park in the uh, museum parking lot. This is the museum parking lot. This is a really cool little building here. I'm sorry for the wind. Storm, you know, hot is coming in. This is basically a lookout observation. Volunteers stayed in there and looked at that for any kind of aircraft. And it was like basically an early warning system. So, civilians would stay in there and just uh, spend their time sleeping in this little space sometimes whole families they say pretty cool all right let's keep here we have a 155 millimeter gun Here's the uh, six inch gun. This is one of the eight inch guns. And obviously this sat on a track system. piercing shells were used battery spent in four miles during World War II. Here we have the 
three inch deck gun model and uh, some of the smaller ones obviously here at the park is coming. It's called the Bobby. Bobby? And it's yeah. a turkey? It's turkey. It's like basically Thanksgiving dinner on a roll. Nice. Thanks to our wonderful camp host who told us about Capriati's. And Fox. now I'm eating. Bye. Classic, classic cheese steak. <laughs> um, Yummy. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Dip and fry and right down. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, we're heading up into the observation tower. One step at a time. We're taking you guys with us. Yeah, we're gonna get up there. Oh, I just got past. Slow moving vehicles. Stay to the right. side over there. Camping is over here. The uh, museum is right over there. We'll go further up next. Next level up. Now you can see the museum and the barracks a little bit better over here. And then the uh, large gun is right there. Zoom in on that. And right there's the large gun which can shoot 25 miles. this. Yes. Alright, let's get further up. Is that high 
I think so. And then right over here, Rehoboth Beach. And then there's more towers out there, but they're hard to see. I guess they periodically check this stuff, right? Let's get you. Viewpoint from the observation tower. And you really can start to see more of the uh, barracks in the ocean. Right over here, you may be able to see it, but that's the Cape May Ferry heading to New Jersey from Lewis to uh, Cape May. So it's heading across and that's about an hour and 50 minutes to get across the channel over to there. Pretty amazing. You can even see the other small little lighthouses and the other tower over there. And the shipping bay with everything kind of coming in. And actually, this is probably the best view, but oh, that focuses. Let's see. top of the tower, checking it all out. Cool. So we're at the date use area now, which has, as Teresa's pointed out, ample parking, very large parking lot. Now, as we had mentioned before, and you'll, you saw in the uh, footage from the bicycle going through the campground, it's a little bit longer, 10 minutes to get from the museum down, but not as many people. Driving down to the point is really nice. Same thing, not so bad. So if you come in, those are two alternative options to consider. So you have uh, more room if you don't want to be around a lot of people. Come up into the main space and the other showers and changing rooms. Outdoor showers. This was, uh, you know, back to the military stuff. This was one of the, the spots that one of the guns may have sat on. You can see the tracks there. You could spin it around, point it direction needed to be pointed. Yeah, we've been watching the uh, the sunsets on the bay are really cool from the fishing pier. We're gonna go there next. Yep, that'll be our next stop. We just want to show everybody this area. The famous IKEA bag. If you don't have an IKEA bag, you don't know how great they are. There we go. Wonderful, great for everything, as you can see. Tried and true, test beach, beach proved. Here we have, and now, you know, once again, you might have seen this in some of the other footage, but it gets crowded up here. Yep, lifeguards on this, this area of the beach. And a chin-up bar. 
grab bar and uh, if you're in a wheelchair, accessible wheelchairs, which is really nice. And we were way down there. And uh, if you have a Delaware fishing tag, you can go out on the beach if you have the appropriate vehicle. And uh, there's two spots that can go out. And then way down there, the jetty is the point. So, uh, and that's dog friendly. out there and two ferries kind of coming across let's go ahead and zoom in so let's see if I can find them there we go there's the two ferries one going and one coming and I think it's like around 30 40 dollars per vehicle one way that's it. Now we're off to the fishing gear. So we've made it over by the fishing pier and the cool thing is on either side there's uh, entrances to allow you to get over to the uh, base spot and there's also a bathhouse here. So say you have small children or the one day it was super super windy we just uh, basically came over here and we were able just to kind of float around with some footage right after this and be floating around in the water. But it's uh, just a really nice space, but great. Once again, you can, it's almost like uh, wading in a pool. It's so shallow. It's so beautiful. So this is the bay side. Today, obviously, because of the storm Ida, all the winds kind of coming from the bay back. So this is a lot windier than normal, and a lot choppier. It's not normally like this at all. Just a small little spot. Once again, you can bring your family or yourself. If the uh, ocean side is just too uh, too too busy, or a little bit more uh, slower pace. We're gonna go check out the sunset next. And that's a wrap.